inviting me. Um, executive staff at the ISTVS, the local organizing committee members, I'm, I'm just delighted to be here. What I'm going to try to do is give you a sense of what we've done with Spirit and Opportunity over the past seven years and going on nine months. And, and both in terms of the mobility of these systems and problems that we've encountered, uh, science that we've accomplished, and I uh, end with what's coming up. And what's coming up is the day after Thanksgiving, there's a launch from Cape Canaveral of Curiosity, which is the Mars Science Laboratory. And it lands in August, and this is a metric tons worth of uh, vehicle that will be traversing across the surface of Mars. Planetary tire mechanics, you know, this is, this is what we're all about uh, in terms of interaction of man-made systems with planetary surfaces, the topography, the soil properties, the bedrock properties. And it ranges from penetrometers, which we've talked about but haven't used in planetary missions. For example, they would be good for seismic observations if the instrument can survive the impact and also meteorological observations and imaging. Soft landings, we've landed the Phoenix lander and the Viking landers with rockets, retro rockets. We used airbags in terms of the two Mars exploration rovers. Uh, Curiosity, next August, will be land using a sky crane. We'll talk about that uh, toward the end. One of the discovery missions that's in the run for the, the next um, discovery class mission is in fact a comet hopper, and it's designed robotically to land on a comet and hop around from place to place and make measurements as the comet goes from the sun outward and the dynamics of the interaction of the sunlight with that cometary surface changes. Digging and sampling, as you probably know, the Mars Phoenix lander landed at 68 degrees north above the Arctic Circle of Mars and uncovered icy soil only a few centimeters beneath the surface. Icy soil at 180 Kelvin that was hard as rock, and that took a while to get through, but it's basically terra mechanics. Spirit and Opportunity we'll talk about, Curiosity we'll talk about a little bit, and right now there's a very detailed study underway, which is a joint NASA European Space Agency study to send another rover to Mars in 2018 with an intent of sampling 